All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or I'm not gonna be very disappointed. First of all, this is my section of the key, so I'm gonna stand here for as long as I want. And second of all, I know all about that award and your deal with Neva. We don't keep secrets between us. Just throttle down and give her the damn thing already, so we can get to work. Well, that's because you'd be absolutely right. You see, everyone above you in the fleet is making more than you are off the same gig. That's why we're all fighting our way to the top. Understood? Good. Now, you might want to hand over that award before I have you tossed off the key. Just a thought. You couldn't find it. Wow, Rook. Just... wow. You had one simple task. Bring me the award. That's it. It's so easy. I could have gotten Jazz's Model A to do the work. Well, congratulations. Not only did you miss out on the award cash, you're also gonna take a hit from your regular pay. That's how things work around here, so you better get used to it. All right, Fleet. We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. All right, Jazz. What do you got? According to the latest, the comp spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location... Undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jimson. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. In that case, I think I'll just wave hello. Mm -hmm. Definitely. We're talking cargo depots, star yards, research stations, and, like in SY920's case, military outposts. I've never seen someone new to the game have so many contacts. It's the reason we let her join up in the first place. I don't know how she accomplished that. We've been trying to crack some of those places for years. I sure hope so. But she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, don't take any chances. Nava's right. Just grab everything labeled Com Spike that isn't nailed down. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal, because you're gonna need it. She's got the clout to get you in the front door. They're gonna think you're part of a regular supply delivery. Beyond that, you and Juan are gonna have to put your heads together and come up with a plan. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, 
I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay. You'll make sure? More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here. And don't come back without that calm spike in your cargo bay. I'm gonna leave that up to you, Rook. If you get into deep trouble, and you think bringing her into the fold is gonna make the difference, tell her whatever you want. At some point, Delgado's gonna be promising everyone their cut of Crix's legacy. If we want him to stick with the fleet, it's inevitable. But until the money's within reach, the less people that know, the better. The Crimson Fleet made contact with her about a year ago. We were searching for a smuggling connection in UC space, and her name kept popping up repeatedly, so I decided to put her to the test. Not only did she pass, but the results were off the charts. Made us both a ton of credits. That was good enough for me. Beyond that, I don't know much about her. But hey, as long as she keeps my gal bank account humming, she can keep all the secrets she wants. We'll talk later. Need something? I see Radley's smile, I want to punch him in the face. Hello. That's convenient. Kila City could really use something like that. Take your neighbor's new recruit. Ah, you must not be used to pirates being so cordial. But in the heart of New Atlantis, we have to do our best to keep up appearances. I can't afford to be as rough as some of our cohorts. It's bad for business. Careful. The walls have ears. SY 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Huh. 
Huh. Eva warned me you were difficult. Clearly I didn't understand what she meant, but I do now. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. Well, at least you're upfront about it. I've worked with folks who'll say they got your back and leave you holding the bag. Exactly. Telling you now will prepare you for what's to come. There's no safety net on this climb. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. I'd like to, but I need to keep a low profile. In my experience, the more people know about you, the more they have over you. True, but silence is a powerful thing. I find the best way to get to know someone is to watch them work. Talking just muddies the picture. Anyways, I appreciate the small talk. Delgado's crew aren't usually so chatty. But let's keep our focus on the mission. We can swap bar stories and share scars when we've got enough creds to buy the bar and fix the scars. Enough to be on a first name basis with the Marines working the cops. It also helps they want us to dock. A cargo ship means supplies, special requests, slates from home. In the void of space, a cargo hauler is a soldier's best friend. Only what I've been told. Get you on the SY920, get you out if I can. That being said, I can be a better guide if I know what it is we're after. So, it's up to you. Interesting. When we get to the station, I'll see if I can pull any information on its whereabouts. Hopefully that'll make for a smoother trip. Less than you. And even if I did, I'm a smuggler, not a scientist. But if Delgado's after it, then I have a feeling there's a pile of credits waiting at the end of this job. So we better do it right. We'll talk more on the ship.
Ready to take off, Captain. Always looking for the next mark. Yes, pardon. All right, a few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Return your piece of cargo if you have to. Good. Say nothing and let their minds fill in the gaps. Got it. Keep to ourselves, blend in, and shut the hell up unless spoken to. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. My job will be to put you in a situation where no one even knows you're there. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Routing power to engine and grab drive. All systems go. <coughs> the grab jump the SY920 from here. Don't worry about your personal ship. The fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare. Just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. Secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. This is Captain Juan Dayu, cargo class ship ID UC-7938, requesting permission to dock. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for scanning. You're clear to dock at docking bay 2. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. You can fly the ship herself. Way better than I can. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. I would hope not. But if they do, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Hey.
glad you're in the fleet. If you weren't, I would have killed you already. Howdy. I bet Cora's already finished the pre-flight checklist. That's my girl. Captain, hello. I am with the J Swan. Loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. Cargo haulers are restricted to the cargo bay. somewhere. Oh, well, this is embarrassing. I, I seem to have lost my key to the maintenance room again. Uh, because this ain't the first time I lost my card. I'm worried about the impression that it'll make on my superiors. You know what they say, first time's an accident, second is a coincidence, third time you're being reassigned to some sub-zero planet to mine glaciers for the Admiral's ice cubes. I've covered pretty much every inch of this place, except for the forklift. But that one guard, the one I owe credits to, is parked right there, so I'd rather not go there. Commander Woods might be coming back. Maybe that'll put an end to all these checkpoints. Something I can help you with? Elisha? Probably lost the hair on the back of his head. I'll go see what it's about.
Every time I see a lock, I wonder, what are you hiding? What the? Let's use the vents. On a station this big, there's lots of ways to sneak through. I concur. I've never been one for remembering codes anyway. Just remember to step lightly and keep your heartbeat slow. Going dark for now. We'll talk again once you've located the calm spike. Damn it. They're gone. You heard that, right? One way to end the fight.
Someone there. one. It's green. Ready for what comes next. Time to tango.
Today's not going to be your day, pal. Never wise to be in my way. Prototype ship, you are not cleared for takeoff. What's going on over there?
us. what they say, right?
Well, well, well. Welcome back, Rook. Looks like you got a new toy for me. Go on in. Give Been hearing some stuff about the Mantis being back. If I ever find that bastard. The fleet protects our own, but you turn against us. Always open for business. So is the fleet. Well, you certainly made a lot of noise on that station. It's not my style personally, but you got the job done. That's what matters. True, but you still completed the job. At least that's something. You bail before I can make the offer, but I'd like to buy you a drink, to say thanks. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that comm spike. Yeah, and I had to feign my surprise to make sure I didn't rat you out. But thanks for trusting me with that info all the same. Us rooks have to stick together. You read my mind. I don't like the thought of putting my routes in jeopardy over an old story. But I respect Delgado and I believe he's on to something. What that is, though, remains to be seen. Assuming we even get a cut. I'm still not convinced. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. So there I am. You see security on my tail, and my grav drive just chokes. And you know what I find back there? The fattest leech I've ever seen. Warm nearly got me dust. Let's put all the settled systems on one planet. What could go wrong? Yeah? No matter what, I've got your back. Ask Jazz about any ship upgrades. Nothing worse than a pirate ship with no personality. Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the comm spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Should've taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She said you had to start a fight on the station, so it sounds like things didn't go smoothly. Lucky for you, I don't give a damn how many Marines you killed. Your job was to get the comp spike, whatever the cost. Now, on to the business at hand. 
Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Comm spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. Hey, my girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it, so cut the crap. The only thing you need to worry about is bringing the tech home. All right, all right. Infighting isn't going to get us to the legacy any faster, Neva. Now, why don't you give us the info on our Neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of neon for some time now whatever info you need i guarantee she can get estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet if i want something done there's none of the typical bullshit it gets done and afterward we all split the cash no 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 there is no getting along here. You are going to do everything she asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Are we pirates or politicians? Sometimes it's hard to tell. If I wanted someone to commit petty crimes and snatch purses, I wouldn't be asking you. Take it as a compliment. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting, but chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us, so I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy, and we cannot afford any screw-ups.